notch this out so I can get it closer to the wall. Over here. More than enough where I can finish it out. So I just want this whole thing to be up against that wall. That way I can actually screw it to a stud and get the countertop flush. Because that is ugly. Get out of the way. I wanted to do while it was out, but I already forgot. Oh, yeah. Attached to the wall. Probably going to put, sorry, probably going to put um, a piece of ply on top or whatever I have. I'm trying to throw this thing together with scrap pieces of wood and it's kind of working. But I need to get this flushed up where the edge of that counter is flush. And I still got to make sure that I have enough room here to fit the other safe. I think I do. I want to say it's about that wide. And if it is too big, then we're in trouble. But I, I think I measured. this deep freeze just pull it out anytime I need it because the thing is ugly
It sure does look good though. So that's a positive. Definitely looks good. Really nice how easy it was to find those screws. Look at that. All right, we're getting there. I need one final uh, coat and joint compound on these. And then it's going to be time to sand. And then it's paint. And then we can move on to the next wall. Safe has been put down. I've got another one that's going to go next to it. And as y'all saw, the uh, countertop is almost ready to be final installed. And then, man, we're getting pretty close to being done. It's been a long process, that's for sure. So, let's get to uh, slapping on some spackling. I'm gonna leave it here because I gotta hook up some power to it. But man, that's gonna look awesome. Cool. All right, so we've got the window framed. We've got this. I actually, off camera, flipped these saves. That way, this here is one solid deal. I didn't have a gap I was gonna have to use some of that stuff to fill up that gap because that safe isn't as deep. Um, I'm waiting on a power hub that's gonna go into this safe. So it's gotta stay out for a minute until that comes in today and I can get that plugged in so that I can get the dehumidifier in there. That safe will get pushed back and they're both getting bolted down. And then I'll fill them up. Uh, I don't know if that's something y'all wanna see. Um, I don't know if that's something I wanna keep to myself. Other than that, like I said earlier, I'm waiting on this to dry. I don't. I, I guess I put it on too thick. And uh, let's see. I guess I put it on too thick because it. See, it's still wanting to peel off. That or just the humidity out here is. We've had some humid days down here in Texas, so I don't know what to do. I guess I'll just hang out and let it dry. Maybe put a fan on it. That's just not cool, man. Don't like that at all. This turned out fine. You know, it's... And then we'll be doing paint. And then, final wall. I love it. Now, we got to get that top... Permanently attached, caulked in. Um, other little finishing touches. So that stuff was on too thick and it took forever to dry. So I peeled it off, it dried overnight. I sanded it a little bit and then I put another coat on the parts that were, you know, deep and gross. So those should be drying. And once those are dry, I'll sand them and then we can paint this wall, finally. 
feel like I've been saying that for a week. And then move on to that. to some stuff about this I know well, I don't know there's barely any people anybody watching but some people would like to see that maybe I'll make that my uh, my picture so somebody clicks on the video um, garage door insulation has been shipped that should be here tomorrow so I'm gonna do a video on that um, and then I think it's just more organizing and getting this thing right, uh, hanging a TV, little stuff. So, if y'all are enjoying the videos, I really hope you are. You know, you can comment down some some things that you want me to do or some suggestions. Uh, other than that, please subscribe. I'm trying to get monetized and you know, kind of go somewhere with this whole thing. So, yeah. Thanks for watching.